This is a Walewa gallery of art located here in Lagos, Nigeria. Come with me. Established in um, 2014. 2014. Yeah, about eight years ago. Like you started here or you. No, no, we've had different locations. This location has only just been one year old, precisely. We've been in um, Chevron, we were at um, the Circle Mall, we had Nobara at the time, and we had another branch at Holy Area, like if it's one. But we recently just moved everything to one space, so which is this space right now. So here we have the exhibition hall, we have the gallery space, we have the workshop and seminar space yeah. for all art rentals. But all everything that we do is all very encompassing in arts. What are some of the most important skills for an art gallery director to have? Hmm. Skills. Yeah. To be honest, as an art director, you must have an eye for good art. Okay. So me, I studied art um, from a very strong art background. So over the years, I've seen art in different forms from a child to my present age. So you must have the eye for art. Walewa Gallery of Arts presents over 5,000 rare art species from the African continent for everyone to experience and enjoy. The gallery is located in the heart of Lagos Luxury District. Which other art gallery do you admire so well and why? There are veterans in the art space. So for me, um, Nikkei Art Gallery. Yeah. But this is very simple. I was in a celebration of 50. When she did her 50th celebration of the art space, yeah. I was opportuned and privileged to be there. I was in Bonn at the time. Oh. I'm not 50 yet. <laughs> you understand? So celebrating someone doing the same thing for 50 years yeah. is awesome and still doing very, very, very well. So Nikkei obviously will be my stand-up icon, my goddess of art. I always look forward to her. She's been a source of inspiration. She's like a mother to me. You know, she's like a goddess that I adore mm. in the art space. Do you train people, like people that want to go into in the gallery or stuff like that? I'll do mentorship that. programs, yes, why not? It has to be with and yes. Like yeah. for how long does it last? It's just a burning fire. If you have it in you, you just need to spend limited time with people. So it's, you have to have the ownership spirit first to be that. So if you have it in you, it doesn't, matter, it doesn't have to take long. And it's endless because for me, when I'm still mentoring on that great art, uh, great gallery owners, someone like uh, Akada on Signature, I've had encounters, encounters with him and I respect the way he judges his collection. Um, Ogri Kwan's gallery, Adelu Tahof, say, you know, Nico Kundai as well. So we have a lot of people that, even as gallery owners, even as a gallery owner, I still try and ask a lot of questions from people that have been there before me to learn. Because learning is endless, really, you know. So if someone is there before you, you should be able to learn from the person and learn well from him. So, but you have to have a new and it's a process. So that's what I think. How do you work with artists to help them develop their careers? Basically, um, you have to be ready on one side. Being ready is um, being ready to work. On the other side, we, we give you the much exposure that we have through exhibitions, through promotions, through publicities on different platforms. You understand? So even this year, we've decided to start a podcast. So that's part of our vision to promote the artist. I will promote our gallery at the same time, but promote that as well. So we're going to have residencies, we're going to have workshops, we're going to have podcasts. The audience should be able to communicate with the artist. You understand? Because a lot of times you see the finished product, you don't see how the product is yeah. being done. So we would consciously, through our lined up programs for the year, 
show to the public some artists that we hope to be like the next future generation of artists that are upcoming like that so we must consciously give them shows we must consciously interview them so we consciously visit their workshops yeah. and document those process so with that the audience the consumers of art the connoisseurs of art would understand the in-depth of what the art is about well, you see the gallery evolving in the future a tourism destination that like the Louvre that we want to be in, you know, and was constant time. Yes, as I say for the gallery, whatever gallery in future. So if I'm considering to come in with some group of persons to just tour around the gallery, are there some amount of money I need to pay or is it just free? If you're touring in the terms of numbers, yes, there will be, because then you have to have a tour guide for you, because it's a private gallery space, it's not really very public gallery space, we treasure what we have and we don't want people coming to take selfies and pictures, because yeah. it's not a gallery for pictures at all, it's a, it's a serious business for us. So if someone is coming for tourism, yes, we have a budget for them. But if it's just you and someone coming to appreciate art, why not? But recently, uh, we were recently doing um, a private coffee shop. Mm -hmm. So already, so they're coming in, we already know they're coming in, there's a coffee, there's an experience. For us, it's just about the experience. We go have art for kids yeah. that we wouldn't have every weekend. We have a library that you have to study to understand the arts more. So if you're coming for that, we are we're, we're open okay. to people that want to know about art. Don't put down come and take pictures on that, of the art that we have. Okay, that one has a special payment to we don't even, I, we don't even, I, I, We don't even um, condole that. So if I'm considering to come and pick a piece of art, how much should I be looking at? We do miniature art fair, and um, we will never discourage collectors and lovers of art to buy we have a there's always a budget there's always something for your pocket pocket friendly so start off like 30k wow. can give you a nice piece a miniature piece of, of an artist meanwhile the size of an art doesn't determine the price oh oh yeah i was about to ask yeah the size of an art doesn't determine the price have some miniature pieces from someone like the Cassidy that I admire so much it might be um one of some of his old pieces his miniature pieces valuable to me i i, I treasure in them so that doesn't determine the price you understand you know so a miniature can go for a million bucks wow. i can have a large piece as large as this as well for a million bucks so the size really do not determine the message the connection you have sometimes and how big the artist is yeah, yeah. you know so it's not about the size oh. in art space so you can get a very large work for a hundred thousand naira from a younger artist mm -hmm. you understand why you can get um why you can get a very miniature from a great artist for more than that price yeah yeah, that was cool. yeah so but we're pocket friendly so we're open to the public to come pocket friendly i love that so if you collection from our archives so we have um Amanda Dudu, right in front of me. A focus child. Because it all starts from a dream. You know, then Beth and everything follows. And then there's something about the girl child, focus and all that in Jeremiah's work. For sure, The opening exhibition was the biggest masters of Nigeria space. Has he been in Nigeria? Yes, everybody has been in Nigeria. Well, they're all giants in the art space. Basic advice for people that wants to mm, looking at what, um, getting in a space like this, or who wants to go into uh, drawing or stuff like this. It's passion, passion-driven space. So if you have the passion, you just keep running. Just allow yourself evolve over time and give yourself time. I mean, once you have that, it's it's perfect. Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a wonderful time.